Okay, everybody, it is Thursday afternoon, driving home, and I'll talk to you a little bit about my day. So, went in thinking I was going to accomplish the world, come out and thinking I'm going to have a crap ton to do when I get back on Monday. So, I sent off a sheet that I needed to be posted, about 50-something items. So I said it'll be okay to post it tomorrow because I'm not going to be there. And then that will wait for me on Monday. Yay. Along between me and other things. It's just like, can't catch a break. You think you're getting somewhere and then you get meetings and then meetings get pushed around and then you decide, oh, I don't need to have a meeting because so-and-so got something ordered for you, so... Don't have to worry about that. It will come in tomorrow. Yay. Not going to be there. Get it on Monday. And, uh, always putting out little fires. So today, apparently, there was a big one, but I wasn't involved in it. So I ain't got to worry about it. Our new manager will be in the office next week. Which is good. Look forward to seeing him in person and then talking with him because uh, I do have something I gotta talk to him about. So hopefully we'll have a little one-on-one -on -one time so I can talk to him about an issue that he's gonna have to get nipped in the bud. Because if he don't, she's gonna keep acting the way she's acting. So I don't know, but apparently powers that be created a big old mess and now everybody's gonna be cleaning it up i'm just glad i'm not involved i ain't gotta reach out to anybody and find out what the heck y'all doing much less please say y'all didn't call anybody on this one but that's that let's see oh went with my friend she needed to get lunch. I had leftovers, so um, we walked to the place that she needed to go to, and I happened to go by this um, cupcake place called Small Cakes. So I got me and my husband a cupcake each, but we'll split both of them, so that will be okay. He'll have half. He'll want to say, oh, just give me half of the half, so it'll be a cupcake in four parts. So... That'll last us all through the weekend. I got a red velvet cupcake and a wedding cake cupcake because, like I said, tomorrow is our wedding anniversary, 23 years. So if he wants to eat half of the half tonight, it'll be the red velvet. Then half of the half tomorrow night can be the wedding cake cupcake. So got just two so he don't have to complain and we're about 10 or 12 or you know all the good numbers there and they're big cupcakes so you can do half of a half and still enjoy what you're eating so have that and then I think we're supposed to go out tomorrow to city range um hopefully they will do that sometime tomorrow afternoon and like I said I gotta get working on my picture again like i told you this uh, morning although you'll see this in the uh, previous video so it's been the next video um that i oh, crap i lost my chance off that's what happens when you drive and you think and you talk all at the same time oh uh, working on my picture that i need to get back on it working on my picture and i got to thinking i have this one picture that i've got already um covered up with the washi tape and labeled for the for the days for the advent calendar but it's a well it's a 40 by 50 which is a 60 by 20 inch which is my wheelhouse but it doesn't break up you know it's a thousand drills a day when i mean i can do a thousand drills a day but you know like i said it's hard to talk to you for an hour like i said i'll be rambling lord knows what i'm gonna be talking about by december 
Well, think about it, I have another piece, and it's a Diamond Art Club one. And I'm almost thinking about looking at that one this weekend and seeing what it looks like if I get it um, covered up. See how many drills it will be per day for December. I gotta look at the size of it because I'm thinking it's smaller than a 40 by 50, but maybe bigger, might be longer. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at it and see. I might do that one instead for the um, advent calendar because the one that I'm originally looking at, and this is going to depend on what the other one looks like. Um, excuse me, can I yawn? I told you I'd be yawning on the way home. Uh, see how many squares it'll be, like day squares. Um, that I wanted to get started on this one earlier because this one will be a gift and I'd like to give it to the recipient before Christmas and she's um, my hairdresser so I see her the 1st of December and I go every four weeks so it will be after Christmas before I see her again so I kind of want to get that to her before Christmas so I early so then it would be an earlier and a Christmas gift but I plan on working on that. If the other one works, I plan on working on this one the three days that I'm off for Thanksgiving. So that would give me the weekend before and then those three days. That's like five days to bang something like that out. So I'm going to have to look at it and see, see, look at the other one and see what size it is and decide if I can do that one for the advent. That's the one where I had unboxed it and I was going to kit it up and the drills had a crap ton of static to which I put the rest of the drills in the refrigerator. Not the freezer, the refrigerator because I don't have a freezer out there. I have a refrigerator and I have, they're still in there so I haven't gotten them out yet. So I'm going to see if they're, I'm going to take a look at them see how static they are, see if they're still static or not. So that's that thought on that. So I've been trying to figure that out what I was going to do for my advent calendar for Christmas along with my um, 12 days of Christmas gifts that I got from Ed Moore's Dest, um Rebecca in the UK for, for kids at 147. So we'll see. So let's see what else happened today. Uh... Got my walk in, walk in to lunch. It took us about 40 minutes because she was going to a place where she likes sushi. I'm not a sushi person. No, thank you. Um, but anyway, it's a newer place. So, um, Kanishiwa. I think that's the name of it. I think so. Anyway, so she it's a newer place, so she wanted to go get some rolls, whatever she gets. Red, I don't know, there's a Greenville roll and a Red, ro red rose roll so that's what she got so she got that so I, you know we're in downtown um, Spartanburg not a place you really want to walk by yourself and I told her she can't go by herself anywhere anyway I said we have to go together I said you can't walk in downtown by yourself I know it's the middle of the day but you know still you, it's just there's too much crap going on right now so you just can't really walk anywhere by yourself but I said, you know, you can't walk anywhere. I'll go with you. Just let me know where it is if you want to go. We'll walk together. And then, you know, it helps us both out because then we can get our exercise in. And it's a, you know, pretty good walk, so, from where we're located. So, we did that and walked down there and walked back and it wasn't overly hot. And that's what we were talking about, the weather. Weather's crazy. So, next week, upper 70s. The week after that, uh, how's it gonna be in the 50s? She's like, yeah, she said, so, you know, with that going on, it'll probably be warm for Thanksgiving. I said, well, it probably will be. That's the track record we're going, unless, you know, it's gonna be a cold come in, it's gonna stay. But I don't see that happening, because usually what happens is when Thanksgiving rolls around, you're wearing a t-shirt. So, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see, because it's too far out. Because that's like two weeks. So you like, like next week and then the next week and then that next week is the Thanksgiving week and that's when I'm off. 
take another two weeks, work another two weeks, and I'm off again. That's kind of how I did it last year. I was off, worked two weeks, I was off again, worked two weeks, I was off again. But that's the way it is, so I'm just glad about tomorrow. I'm going to have Friday off, just a mental day. Just, you know, try to get the crazy out, crazy out. So, and it was, um, they, we had a, uh, one of the meetings, main meetings we had today was where we're going to go through the process, the process we had for a debt sale that we're going to do. And then, of course, it was brought up once again why, you know, if you're going to want to sell these, you can't because of this issue. And I'm thinking, oh, that shit ain't going to fly. Excuse my language, but that's the way it is. Look, when you're a uh, chief financial officer, I think that's what it is, but at any rate, um, comes at and comes aboard and comes into the company and decides, you know, that we're going to do a three-year plan and it's going to be all this and we're pushing this and that and his, his, um, acronym is the, uh, GSD, which is get shit done. That's the way it is. So that's what all, that's what will fly out of my mouth every once in a while because, you know, some things just don't fly and what was mentioned today in the debt sale, I knew it wasn't going to fly. So, I don't know what they're going to do. I'm not part of that conversation and I don't care. So, I'm like one of these things that's like, la la la, I told you so, but you know, no one listens. So, no, 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 keep on going. We'll see what happens. So, like I said, I'm glad I'm not involved in that. Um, the person that is, though, whew, that's what I got to talk to the manager about. But at any rate, um, let's see. Just sitting here in the sun, in my car. I guess I'm going to go home and fix dinner. I got meat out, so I thought about just doing a hamburger helper. So that's what I had in mind. We talked about Tuesday. It was Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday we went and ate Mexican. Because I didn't have anything day on and, you know, didn't have anything to eat. So we talked about, you know, either pizza or tacos. And he wanted, um... Is uh, fajita not not nachos fajita quesadillas? So we were gonna go. They were packed. So it was Taco Tuesday, you know. And then we went to so Caesars. Then we said, No, I don't want pizza. And he really wanted the fajita quesadillas. So we went back. So I said, Oh, well, we can do pizza Thursday. Like, well, no, we're not gonna do pizza Thursday. If we ain't got you know Friday. I'm like, okay. So that puts it back on me to fix whatever. So. I guess I'll be doing fixing whatever on the um, hamburger helper, and I got some corn on the cob that I can cook in the instant pot and be fun. So that's what I might do. So I'll have that to get done when I get home. Also, I gotta get gas on the way home because it is between um, quarter of a tank and empty. I know it's a little bit above quarter of a tank, but by the time I get home, it'll be quarter of a tank. And so I was like, well, if we're going to be driving mine tomorrow, be like, I'll need to fill it up because I don't hear them complain. Do you let your car get on empty before you fill it up? Well, no, I don't. I have, but I don't try to do that now. You know, the way gas is and the scare and the prices and, you know, every time you turn around, there's a gas shortage. You know what the heck happened? So just dealing with gas prices and, you know, I can't complain too much because I know our gas prices aren't as high as the whole freaking countries. So, you know, when you're paying three something a gallon, you can't really complain too much. Um, that's why I'm glad we're still driving twice a week to work and that's it. And hopefully pretty soon get ourselves full on remote. Um, still thinking about or talking about me getting my computer brought home since so I can hook a printer up to it because I gotta be able to print um, my notarized stuff and there was a little talk there about doing the e-notary for uh, the state of South Carolina but apparently um, the state's not ready for that yet so it is going to be back to me getting my computer and taking my computer home to hook it up to a printer so I have relief there because, you know, I still want to keep my laptop, so hopefully I'll be able to do both. So we'll see what happens there. 
Um, let's see. It's pretty much how my day went. I did have a crazy situation. It's kind of one of these things you're like, why do you even ask the things you ask? And so I had a center location call me and they had a customer come in. The customer wanted to revance, but the customer status in the system was bankruptcy. So, of course, I'm sure the bank customer had a bankruptcy discharge. I'm not sure which. But they call and I'm trying to look it up the uh, most recent communication sent out by our legal department because they're the ones that handle the bankruptcies. I said, well, let me look at this communication. And so we got talking. She said, oh, she's a yeah, in the near communication where we fill out the form. I said, yeah, you got to fill the form out. And she's like, oh, so we just fill the form out and we send it back to you. All right. And I'm thinking, no, I'm not legal compliance. You know who I am and you know who you called. That's not, you know, that's not in this department. Never mind the fact that we have a web page that has all the department information on it. And we went and looked for the communication on that department's web page, compliance, legal compliance, their page. And that's where you find the form and the form go. You fill it out and form goes directly to them anyway, because that's how they got it created. So it's... Why don't you decide that you think you're going to email it to me, my department, and I'm not legal compliance when you're filling the form out on their page? No, it goes legal compliance. So then the next question is this, because I'm still this department, but not really. I'm not legal compliance, but anywho. So how long is this going to take? Well, I don't know. can't tell you because, number one, it's not my department. Number two, I, they ain't fast about anything, so it's probably going to be sometime next week. And never mind that you know, the customer is in the store location right now and want to reborrow. That's not going to happen. You gonna have to. That person's gonna have to wait till next week. Cause I doubt I see it happening today, much less tomorrow. And I understand it's the third, and you know they want money, but uh, no, it's not gonna happen. And then you know that's kind of date you have to pay attention to in this business anyway, right? Because the third is Social Security, and then you know it's the first of the month, so. Third, fifteenth, they're busy days. So it's like, mm -mm, nope. Don't know, can't tell you. Don't have control over that. Don't have rights to do anything in that. Can't touch it. So it's like, mm, no. So I'm thinking, it's kind of one of those things like, why? Why do you even ask me? Why'd you even call and ask me this? So then in the um meeting that we're supposed we were having at 1 30 today so the uh um, we come in and i gotta like try to get into the meetings early just so i can have it there and then i can go back and do what i need to you know do do some multitasking until i gotta come back into the meeting so i pop in and and they're still sitting there and they're chatting away and i'm thinking mm -mm. so my co-worker sits next to me she goes um are they in the meeting already? I'm like, yeah. I said, apparently. I don't know if they got started earlier or what the deal is. And they're just talking away about stuff that they didn't have anything to do with the meeting. I was like, mm. So then my boss is like, oh, um, yeah, duh, this is the same link. And people are coming in for another meeting. So we're just going to have to uh, roll this over. So uh, if y'all are here for the other meeting, can you please leave and try to get Because, you know, he's going to close where they are in right now. I'm like, nobody needed to hear that mess and then I find out later what the mess was and like I said you know I'm not part of that mess I got to throw up out it's a nice Camaro sorry it's like mm, squirrel but it was a really pretty Camaro I haven't seen a Camaro that color in a while um my husband has a 2011 Camaro and it's that color but it's a sharper looking car so I don't know what year that one was it's a newer looking one though it was pretty so it's like, oh, squirrel car. Oh, that's what you get when you drive down the road. Be seeing all kind of stuff. So, that's that on that. Um, let's see. Read some more at lunch today. Still haven't figured out what my pages are for October. I gotta get on that because we're in November and December's when I gotta finish it up. So, I have to look, but I'm pretty close to finishing the one that I'm reading right now. So, if I think about it, I may 
finish it hopefully this weekend and then me and my friend again we're talking about the uh, Disney Dreamlight game and I'm like I really need to play that she was telling me all these things that she was doing and she said she watched some other people play it and um, she started over so she was playing it on her Nintendo Switch which to me would aggravate the poo out of me because that screen is so small and then she said she got it. She has a PS5, so I think she got it on her PS5. So I have it on Xbox because I'm playing. We're gonna play it through Game Pass, and we renewed our Game Pass for another three months. Um, speaking of, if there is anybody out there that's, um, I don't know if it has PlayStation. I'm gonna assume that has PlayStation, but it's called CD Keys. The C is in cat, D is in dog. K is in kite, E is an elephant, Y is in yellow, S is in Sam.com. They have um, discounted rates for stuff. So I paid for another three month uh, Game Pass subscription. This is Game Pass Ultimate. So this is the Game Pass and the Xbox Live Gold uh, subscription for Xbox for the next three months for t like $23. So way cheaper than what you're going to pay for um, a three months subscription for, for that so so check that out um, it is legit I had to investigate that a little bit I'd heard about it before but wasn't really sure what I could and couldn't get on it but I, that's what I got so um, check that out if you have any of that so anyway back to where I was talking about the uh, dream Disney Dreamlight so she had said that yeah she started over and she said i she said that she was off a couple of weeks ago in october and I, she said she played like every day she says i play like every day she said i would you know get up do whatever you know play eat dinner with my mom you know come back and play again so she went from playing on ten, nintendo switch to watching some videos to watch how other people played it to kind of show you what you need to do to get started and then started playing on her PS5 and was kind of playing every day of the week she was off. And her mom's playing it, but I can't remember what her mom's playing it on. She might be playing it on Xbox, but I'm not sure. And got further along than her mom. And her mom got mad. She was like, I mean, Shabira's only been off this week and she started over and she's still further than I am. And so she told her mom, she said, we well, gotta do this, and you gotta do this. Then what she's talking about, you know, some things. And I know she, she said, yeah, you know, I'm uh, short of being a Disney fan, but she said, you know, you'll really like it. So I haven't, I haven't tried it out yet because I hadn't really been in the mood to. So I might do that hopefully this weekend because I've been saying I want to. I just hadn't got it done yet. And while it's on Game Pass, you know, might as well. So hopefully it's still on Game Pass. So I have to try it out and see if I like it or not. It seems like it'd be really cool. And she said that they're supposed to be for like December adding uh, Toy Story uh, characters to the game. So we'll see. I really need to get into it and play it and find out what it's all about. So we'll see. We've been thinking about playing the Stardew Valley game. I was trying to do the uh, billion billionaire gold challenge where you get a billion a billion in gold, but uh, I'm a little far away on that one. So it's just you know when you when the mood strikes you about what you want to play or don't want to play. But I've been waiting for my friend who across the pond uh, to be off so we can play a rocket league together because that's what I really like to play but I don't like playing it by myself because you know um some days I'm I can play really good some days I suck really bad and he's okay with that of playing it really good or sucking really bad so we just say we have really fun and laugh and you know yell and do crazy things so i'm hoping that he's off tonight so that we can play that tonight because then i won't have to get up early tomorrow and i can you know we can play and then we can play a little bit um obviously friday night won't be as bad stay up late for that too 
Saturdays fall back so we get that extra hour. But I really want that extra hour sleep so I don't want to be staying up no crack of dawn on Saturday night, even though we have church on Sunday. So it's supposed to rain Saturday too, so we'll see about all that on um, doing that, playing that game. And like I said, maybe I'll check it out. I don't know. And I, then I saw where um, Upload had two seasons and they are going to have a third season, but the second season is three episodes shorter than the first season. And it's not a lot of episodes to start with, so I was like, I'll probably get through that pretty quick here. So I don't know what I'm going to watch next. I haven't watched um, Shadow and Bone, but I kind of want to read the series first. And I gotta check, I might have it on Audible, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check and see. Uh, I've already used up all my credits for this year, so my uh, subscription won't renew until February. And I'm looking at not renewing it, but maybe doing the light version. I don't know. I might, I might, st I might still do the 25. I didn't do this last year. Did the 12 credit one last year, but the year before, um, and I don't want to think about the year before, but the year before that, I was doing the 24 credit one, and then sat there, and you can only uh, roll over 12 credits. I think I had 12 credits for the two year, and six credits for the one year. So I could only roll over if I had a two year program and I had a crap ton of credits left, and but I could only roll over 12. So I had my friend Mary um, help me pick out a lot of YA um, books on, auto, on Audible on audiobooks that she thought that I would enjoy listening to because I listened to the um, Sarah J. Mass um, not the Court of Thorns and Roses but the other one that was the one I listened to first and because she got me into that one so then she helped me get all the um, Thorn, uh, thorns and roses which she needs to hurry up and get the next book out because um i've already listened to that one i listened to that one earlier in the year i'm ready i'm ready for the next book but you know wait for that one so but anyway shadow and bone so i'm pretty sure that she had picked out shadow and bone for me to listen to so i gotta look and see i got like 300 audible titles and I ain't even list probably to a tenth of those. I mean, you know, think about that, would be like 30 books. So, I don't even think I've listed that much. To which my sister called me today. And she goes, do you have Audible? I go, yeah. I, she goes, can I use it? I go, no. She goes, oh. I was like, the only reason why I'm saying that is because I don't have any credits right now. So, I can't get anything for you if, it, if you want something. I said, I don't have credits. And she goes, well, I'll pay for it. I said, like, okay, we'll find us. And so I pulled it up and pulled up the book she wanted. She has it on her. Um, she's borrowing it from the library. And she's reading it. But she wants to, when she's not reading, she wants to listen to it. I said, okay. So, so I looked it up and I told her. I said, she goes, well, how much is it? I said, that's $9. No, I don't, I don't want to pay for that. I'll just, you know, read it. I'm like, okay, whatever you want to do. So then she was telling me about a Colleen Hoover book. Um, she said, have you read her? I said, no. And I didn't want to get into this discussion with her, but I have a friend, a hairdresser, who read one of her books, and she just didn't, um, she couldn't finish it because there's some parts of the book she didn't agree with, and I can't remember the name of the title, Save My Life, and I can't remember the name of the title my sister told me to read. But at any rate, um... She said, you need to read it. She said, it's got a lot of book, uh, music stuff in it. And she said, so it has a lot of um, lyrics and things. She said, so there's songs that goes along with the story. She said, so what you need to do is read it and then listen to the music while you're reading it. And so, if anybody knows what the what name of that one is, you can tell me. I'll know the, um, I would know it by looking at it because it's got a guitar on the front. So... At least that's what I can remember of it today. That's just how my life is. It's kind of one of those things when you recommend a book like that, you have to, dude, you have to get over it because you got a bigger truck um, to write it down because I'll forget. So she told me about that one, so I may check it out and see. I told her, I said, pretty much for me, she goes, you have a library card. I'm like, yeah, I got a library card. I said, but, um, 
I do a lot of Kindle Unlimited, so. And obviously, that's not going to be part of Kindle Unlimited because Kindle on Amazon's only got so much. But, I said I do have a library card, though. So, alright, so I am home. Backing up. Chilling like a villain. Alright, husband's standing outside the door. So I'll have to stop with you here. And I'll chat with you later.